Musk lorikeets are an uncommon nomad in woodlands and the drier forests of eastern Australia. They're not often noticed in Sydney, so it was a surprise to come across a pair in Queen Elizabeth Park, Concord. They're showy little birds, smaller than the ubiquitous rainbow lorikeet, and, at least in urban areas, in competition with them and this pair were obviously investigating potential nest hollows in preparation for breeding. The species can't have been all that uncommon in the Sydney Basin before European settlement, because it came to scientific notice very shortly after the first fleet arrived in 1788. Early observers recorded that its local Aboriginal name was Coolidge. It wasn't long before a specimen reached London and the musk lorikeet's scientific description was written in 1791 by the eminent naturalist George Shaw, who also scientifically described and named the platypus, echidna, wombat, budgerigar and black snake. This lively depiction was drawn around 1791 or 92 by an unknown First Fleet artist, and this one, sometime before 1797, is probably the work of convict artist Thomas Watling. Musk lorikeets are found in eastern New South Wales and in Victoria, southeast and south Australia and Tasmania. In New South Wales, their stronghold is nowadays west of the Great Dividing Range. If they were indeed common in Sydney's inner west in pre-European times, it's no doubt because the now almost extinct turpentine ironbark forest of the area was very much to their liking. Finding a pair in Queen Elizabeth Park's tiny but lovingly restored and maintained patch of this very rare forest type is a testament to the work of Canada Bay Council and its local bush care volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> 